Hi friends, welcome to TechLake Video Tutorials. This video I am going to explain about uh, SQL Star Loader. Like if you have a requirement to load the data from your flat file to your database. Uh, normally people uh, are preferring nowadays uh, ETL tools. But instead of ETL tools, you can go for SQL Star Loader. It is an Oracle uh, product. You will be getting from Oracle database. So no need to uh, get a separate uh, license for this. And no need to spend additional bucks amount for this. Okay. And uh, here. Uh, instead of ETL tools, if you are using SQL Star Loader, we can load uh, any type of uh, flat files, or uh, delimited flat file, and any type of like a huge data also we can load. Compared to ETL tools, it is very fast. Compared to ETL tools, it is very fast. But uh, normally, because of uh, tools, people are not preferring this. And uh, only additional thing you should know about a control file that I will explain. It is very simple and it is very easy. It is not a specific language. It is the same as your SQL. So, if you are uh, working on any uh, ETL projects or if you are working any ERP applications like Oracle apps or any CBL or any applications, uh, common thing is you will be getting a source files and you need to load the data from your source file to your database. So, on Oracle they are providing one loader called utility called SQL Star Loader, SQL Star Loader that is SQL Star Loader. So, using this we can load the data from your source file to target file. So, here you need additional thing is source is your flat files and target is your database target is your database and there you will be creating additional file to call control file this will contain all your structure uh, from where you are selecting the data that file location data file location and from where you are inserting like table name and the columns fields and the type of loading that conventional or direct path loading so this is a, all ddl information will be specifying in control file and SQL Star we can load two ways that is called direct path loading and conventional path loading that I will explain in while loading the data into using the sample file. You will get more clarity on that. Let us start with the individual files. So, once you create a file, once you run this, there is a command called SQL LDR. Using that command, you can run this. Then it will be generated three files. Those are log files, means complete end to end process from where it is selected from where uh, it is going to insert and inserted data number of rows selected number of rows inserted number of rows error number of rows rejected or discarded and uh, cpu time and the total uh, database uh, taken time every information will be there in this log file okay from where you have selected data file data file location discard file location so all information will be there in this log file so then bad file and discard file so most of the developers will get confused on this it is very simple bad file is nothing but system rejector records will be there in this bad file it may be due to data type error it may be due to constraint related error maybe null constraint or referential integrity or duplicate records so those data system rejected data will be there in bad files discard files means if you are rejecting any records through control file for example if you are writing some condition and if you are not satisfying that condition i don't want to load the data i want to reject those records so that time those data will be created as separate file called discard file okay that data will be created as discard file for example if you are loading 10 records from your file and using this control file there is some data type issue instead of number there is some character entered maybe special character entered in file so what this will do system will reject that record and it will create that record as a bad file so that record entire record will be there in that bad file and nine records will be loaded into your database and if you are writing any conditions like out of 10 records there are two records is not satisfied your condition maybe project code or maybe something you have your predefined conditions so those type of conditions if you have written those rejected data will be there in your discard files that is user developer creating some condition to reject those data if it is not satisfying your condition so this is a overview on total number of files five files will be there source file control file and additional three files which is system generated log file is system generated bad file if any system rejected records it will be generated created as bad file discard file any user conditions that is not satisfying it will be created as discard file 
So this is the overview on SQL star loader. I am explaining all the files you can see here. Control file which will contain all your data definition language like uh, uh, insert or append or replace or whatever conditions you are in using and from where you are selecting the data, file location, in file location and the target table and columns, everything will be specified in control file. So bad file means which is the system rejector record will be created as bad file. Discard file which is control uh, file related any conditions is not satisfying those statement is rejecting that will be created as discard file. Log file complete SQL star loader process. Number of rows selected, number of rows rejected, number of rows inserted, which table is inserted and which file it is selected, uh, log file location, uh, discard file location, bad file location, control file location, CPU time, 